So I recently decided to quit my job in Hawaii. And no, I'm not quitting my job to become a full-time YouTuber and we're not packing and moving to the mainland. I'm quitting one job and I'm starting another. But it's a pretty scary time to start a new job in Hawaii. I mean, tourism is down and the economy is struggling. But I think that there are a lot of people in Hawaii and beyond who are considering leaving their jobs during this pandemic. And so I kind of wanted to just talk story about this, kind of just talk it out, you know, talk about what I'm feeling and how I made this decision and the things I considered before making the move. So if you're thinking about changing jobs right now or in the near future, hopefully this discussion helps you or at least encourages you that there are other people who are also thinking about that same thing. They say that millennials like to switch jobs every two to three years, but not me. I've been working as a research analyst in Hawaii for over eight years, and I never thought that I'd be in the same job for that long. Before that, I taught at a university, and before that, I worked in retail. But I decided to stick out my job, and I've enjoyed it over the years, learning and being a member of a really great team. Because there's nothing quite like being challenged at work and having to solve problems that add to your development as a thinker and a learner. And to get paid for this opportunity to me is just a bonus. I think about all the projects I've worked on and how I was sometimes given just a concept in the beginning. But after careful thought and discussions with others, I was able to put something together with creativity and being clever. You know, I don't think that many people find their job very fulfilling. Sure, maybe the job helps to pay for a certain lifestyle, but it may never really add to someone's life other than that financial component. And I've been pretty fortunate that the job that I've had has added more to my life than just money. And I'm really thankful for all the experiences that I've had. So leaving my job was a decision that we made as a family, and I'm most proud of that. My wife and I talked about it, and it's a lot easier to make that decision to move knowing that I have the support of my family because there's risk in changing jobs at this time. You know, I have a son, he's very young, and things are pretty expensive in Hawaii, so there's not a lot of margin for error, but I think that there's always gonna be risk, whether I were to stay or to go. Because part of that risk is comfortability. You know, I was comfortable at my job. You know, I knew what to do. I've seen a lot of challenges and were able to overcome them with the support of others in the office. And so it would seem like the perfect time to weather this economic storm that's hitting everyone and just stay put and wait it out. But then I realized that part of growing as a person is being put in new situations and struggling and going through it. Like when I first started my job as a research analyst, that's not really what I went to college for, but I quickly learned how to do the job and became pretty good at it. You know, I put a lot of hard work to catch up and learn, but others also invested in me so that I could level up and get better. I asked so many questions during my first year on the job that I'm pretty sure I irritated some people, but at the time I wasn't afraid to ask because I knew that that's what it would take for me to get proficient at my job. And I'm glad that those people who answered my endless questions didn't give up on me. Because I look back now at how much of a novice I was at the beginning when I first started my job to where I am now and it's just pretty amazing. And this also happened when I was teaching at a university because when I first started teaching there, I was really nervous and frankly, they didn't train me very much and I had to learn most of it on my own. And you gotta remember, there I was, this young Hawaii kid teaching classes to a bunch of mainland students who were just four or five years younger than I was at the time. And I had to create a syllabus, I had to figure out lesson plans, I had to grade papers and learn how to communicate with students. And of course, it was scary and hard and challenging, but I enjoyed it. And I enjoyed learning to be a better teacher and a better communicator and greater each semester that I taught. I think that some people are afraid to learn new things. And I think that this comes with age. You know, we get into these like routines and we like our comfortable environment and we don't like to fail or take chances. So we stick to what we know. But 
I think in this new economy, especially in Hawaii, it's going to reward those who are bold, the people who are willing to take the chances to seize the opportunities that come along that maybe normal people or most people would just say no to. And that may be going back to school or learning a new trade or entering an internship program or even accepting a lower position in another field with the hopes that something greater will come along later. And I'm not sure what that's gonna look like for everyone, but life's different now. And those that can accept that quickly and move forward are the ones that are gonna have the best chances at being successful. See, back in graduate school, we read a lot of short stories and I particularly liked Flannery O'Connor. And through her stories, I gathered that the most tragic characters are the ones that hold on to the past and are unwilling to change and look forward. And these are the characters that suffer the most, you know? So it's so important to be willing to let go and to look ahead. And sure, that's easier said than done, but I think it's so important during this time. In Hawaii, because of how the economy is based mostly on tourism and how tourism is really suffering, I think a lot of people will be forced to look forward and change their jobs or careers and they're not going to be able to hold on to the past whether it's training or experience or job security so it's going to take people pivoting to new jobs even if they don't know how to do it at first jobs that were once readily available in hawaii are now unavailable or even obsolete i mean if you look at hawaii's economy and the different industries hospitality retail food service they're all in decline. And the thing is the people who typically work in these types of jobs are probably the ones who can least afford to lose that income. So while some may look at this economic winter as a bad thing, I've tried to view it from the perspective that there's opportunity out there in that cold, that if you position yourself in a good spot and catch a break when opportunity just flashes for just that moment, you may be able to step into something better than you had before. And that might mean more money or a more rewarding career. But I just feel like there's opportunity out there in this season. So I just want to share some tips or things to think about if you're considering switching jobs, especially in Hawaii. The first is that Hawaii is a small place. So leave your job in a positive way. People talk and you're going to want to leave your job well. I mean, you'll be surprised what a small world Hawaii is and who knows who and who is related to who. And because of that, if you get a bad reputation, you're going to lose out on so many opportunities that you don't even know about, that you didn't even have a chance because you were disqualified before it was offered to you. And at the same time, because Hawaii is a small place, if you're looking for work, go talk to some people and they may know someone who is looking or know someone who knows someone who is looking. You know, I've seen so many of my colleagues who have gotten great jobs because they knew someone and that someone put in a call. And in Hawaii, it's really about who you know. And so now is the time that those connections are so important. The second thing is everyone is replaceable. Even the most essential people can be replaced and the workplace just has to move on. But knowing that is rather humbling and actually reminds me that my occupation doesn't define me. You know, it's the things that I bring to the job, my character, integrity, and personality that defines who I am. So I used to work at Pottery Barn Kids as a stockroom person. I used to load the boxes and organize the inventory and it was a tough job, but I tried to make the best of it. And I remember leaving that job because I wanted a raise and they couldn't offer me one. And well, I thought that there was no way that they could find anyone as hardworking as me. Well, maybe that is the case. Maybe they couldn't find someone who was exactly like me, but they found someone to fill my position. So again, just remembering that humbles you a little bit. And the third thing is make sure that you're leaving for the right reasons. And when it came to this move, I had to make sure that I was quitting my job for the right reasons. And this one to me is the most important. And maybe people don't really care and 
frankly, no one's gonna know the real reasons except you because these reasons are just for you. You know, doing it for family or maybe more professional opportunities to grow or money could be a good enough reason to leave. But I think it's supposed to be more than that. It's like this intrinsic thing that's rewarding or gratifying on the inside. You know, the hardest part of leaving my current job for the new job was the people. You know, mostly it's the working relationships and friendships I've made over the years. And it's really like that TV show, The Office, where you have this camaraderie with each other, even if you drive each other crazy at times. And for the better part of the last eight years, these people were a big part of my life. They've seen me grow from a 20 something year old who was single and living with my parents to this family man who is a wife and kid and a home. And that's a big change. So I definitely will miss them and all the good times that we've had, but I'm still looking forward. So hopefully that encourages you. If you're just thinking, maybe this is the time to switch up jobs. Thanks for watching and Aloha.